All right, so as you can see here, I've created two viewports side by side. They're identical viewports, scales the same, um, all the layers are visible. And what I want to do is I want to go in there and I want to start tweaking it because I don't necessarily want to see um, all the same um, geometry in or both the same objects in both viewports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to activate this viewport. And this is an important step because I'm going to double click in here to activate it so we can see that I'm actually you know, in model space through the paper space viewport. So this viewport is active. I'm going to go to my layer properties here and let's just make this a little bit smaller. Now if I was to come in here and I was to take these column layers. So I've got these these two column layers. Actually, let's do annotation. So I'm going to take all my annotation layers here. And if I was to come in here and I was actually to click the freeze option here, notice that that geometry is, the, is being removed from everywhere. So frozen on off and freeze thought is global across your entire drawing, which is great in a lot of different instances, but in this one is not what I want. So what I'm going to do here is instead of using these ones, is I'm going to take my layers here. Let's just make this just a little bit longer so I can see all of them since I keep deselecting them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my viewport, my VP freeze, my viewport freeze option here. I'm going to take these and I'm going to freeze these. So what I can see is they're frozen just in this viewport. They're not frozen here, but they're frozen just in this viewport. And that's what that option's for. So I can come in here and let's take these column ones. Let's take these ones. Let's take the elevation and the equipment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to viewport freeze those in this particular viewport. So that's exactly what that option is for. And you can actually do the same thing through the drop down here. So through the drop down here, I can say I've got on off freeze thaw and viewport freeze. So again, maybe I want to come in here and I don't want to see my doors in this one. So I was able to go in there and actually freeze those in those particular uh, viewports. Now to kind of use some of the existing tools here, what I can do is I can actually use my on off, or sorry, my layer off tool, which seems a little bit odd, and my layer freeze. Now in both of these options, what I can do is I can go into the settings. In the settings, I can go viewports. In the viewports, I can actually come in here and select viewport freeze. Notice that with the off tool, I can do the same thing. So I can come into my settings, I can go into viewports, and I can pick viewport freeze. So now, since I'm in an active viewport, it doesn't matter if I use the off tool or the freeze tool, but I can come in here and say I don't really want to see the, the layer that this object's on and this one. And what I can see is that notice that it's just freezing it in this viewport and it's not affecting the other viewport or really any other place in this drawing. So I can use that, that tool to, to do that. Okay, well, maybe what I've done now is I'm actually done detailing um, everything I need to see. So I don't need to see the um, annotation layers in any new viewport. So I'm going to go to my layer properties and I'm going to take those same annotation um, layers and what I'm going to do is actually ask it to freeze it in any new viewport that I create. So if I come into my, my new layout here and if I come in here, notice that in this viewport automatically all those annotation layers are automatically frozen. This is great when you've kind of got a multi-step detail, right? So I'm doing the, the plumbing first. I'm done with the plumbing. I don't need to see it again. Why have it automatically show up and have to toggle it off? I can just go in there and just, just set it so it automatically doesn't show up from that point. What I can also do in here is, is kind of the opposite to that. So instead of having it frozen automatically, is there's actually a tool in here specifically designed for viewports where I can come in here and say viewport freeze and all viewports except the current. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this, this green layer here. So I'm going to take this layer here and I'm going to pick it. And we can see here on the command line that layer A equip has been frozen all viewports but the current one. So now if I come back to my layout 2, what I can see is that that layer has been frozen, um, that AM equip layer. So if we find that, we can see it's actually frozen in this viewport and it is frozen in this viewport as well. So just like that, we can see that it's been frozen in all viewports except the um, active viewport that I was in. Okay, so some tools specifically um, as you can see there, either options of, of tools that work in model space or paper space for specifically for paper space, and also a tool that's specifically designed for working um, just within paper space viewports.